everybody, welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be what I eat in a day as a busy homeschool mom. So last week I filmed a question and answer video all about my health and fitness journey this far, and I mentioned that if you guys were interested, I would film a what I eat in a day. And you guys were definitely interested. So I'm gonna take you along today on a Monday, which happens to hands down be our busiest day of the week so that you get the most realistic look into what I eat in a day. We will attempt to do some homeschooling today. I have plans to work out like always. Um, Emily has karate tonight, which takes us away from the house from like three and a half to four hours around dinner time. So we have to get a little creative there and we kind of all eat our own things because Emily needs to eat something a little lighter before and then a little lighter after versus a full regular dinner. Anyway, it gets super, super interesting on Mondays. I also did not meal prep nearly as well as I would have liked to over the weekend because we had kind of a crazy weekend. So this is gonna be super realistic. There is no special things going on here. Um, I do want to preface this with saying that everybody's dietary needs are gonna be different. Um, everybody should eat what's best for them, what makes their body feel best. I am just giving you an example of what I eat as a busy homeschool mom to try to reach my fitness goals um, in case you need a refresher from that health and fitness video, which I will link. My personal style of eating is I have a calorie goal and I'm trying to eat high protein. So that is kind of what you are going to see today, hopefully. I start my day out with 40 ounces of plain water. Um, once I get through one of these of plain, then I allow myself to have a flavor. My current flavor obsessions are the Crystal Light Raspberry Lemonade and the Crystal Light Pink Lemonade. Before my workout, I will have this no sugar added applesauce pouch. This is basically how I fuel my workout. Anything more than this, and I feel like sluggish and bloated, and anything less than this, and I feel like I'm gonna get sick. So yes, I know what everybody says about fueling a pre-workout, but this is what works for me, and I prefer the little baby pouches because they're convenient. So this is what I'm gonna have before I head out to work out. After workout breakfast is almost always Greek yogurt and fruit. One of my favorite Greek yogurts is this ratio protein because it has 25 grams of protein per serving. The blueberry paired with blueberries is one of my favorites. My second favorite is the vanilla paired with strawberries. We just got back from our walk and it is like 98 degrees humid, miserable outside. So I sweat my butt off. So I am going to be replenishing with an LMNT electrolyte. Um, I personally like mine in 16 ounces of water. Kevin drinks his in 24 ounces of water because he doesn't like it as salty. But we all agree that the best, especially summertime flavors, are the orange salt, the grapefruit salt, and the watermelon salt. Today, I am going to do the orange because that's what I'm in the mood for. My first snack of the day is a Halo or a Cutie, Mandarin, whatever you want to call it, and some beef jerky. My personal favorite beef jerky is the Archer's Grass-Fed Beef Jerky. We buy the family size, and it maybe lasts us a week if we're lucky. So I was feeling super uninspired for lunch this week. It is like ridiculously hot, which makes me really not want to eat a lot of things. So the only thing I meal prepped for myself was a bunch of grilled chicken, because I knew I could use that in numerous different ways. And then I bought um, a couple of the chopped Caesar bags. I take all of the stuff out and set it to the side. Kevin will eventually use that. I don't use any of it. I normally use the Bolt House Caesar dressing in place of the things that come in it. I just like the fact that it's already pre-prepped for me basically. So my plan was basically to do grilled 
chicken Caesar salad or in the case of today, a grilled chicken Caesar salad wrap. So we're going to use the medium size extreme wellness high fiber wraps, some pre weighed out grilled chicken. I'm using three ounces and basically just a bunch of Caesar salad, in this case romaine lettuce. And then I will add some Caesar dressing. And there we have it. Today's lunch is a chicken Caesar salad wrap with a side of sliced mini cucumbers and grape tomatoes. My second snack of the day is red grapes and these light string cheese sticks. This is my favorite of all of the light string cheese I've ever tried. And yes, I cut them up like into little pieces because I, something, I don't know, mentally, my brain, like I cut my apples super tiny. It feels like I'm eating more even though I'm eating less because like obviously the bite that I would take would be probably three times that size. So I'm just tricking my brain into thinking I'm eating more than I actually am. So this is dinner. It's karate night, which means it's kind of all fin for ourselves. This is just a quick, I do two Italian chicken sausage cut up, fried in a pan, and then I throw in this bird's eye rigatoni and vegetable zesty marinara bag, and just leave it with the lid on for about 10 minutes, and then this is what you get. If I'm having this for lunch, I do half of the portion, but since it's dinner, I'm gonna do the whole thing. So that's two of these in this entire bag. Okay, so we are literally gone from the house for like three and a half hours during karate nights. So I like to take quick, easy, high protein things with me. So I will drink this Fairlife Nutrition Plan shake on the way there. And then either while we're there or on the way home, depending on my hunger, I will eat this cookies and cream Bear Bells bar. And that will probably be where we end the day. Okay, it is officially the end of the night. I'm exhausted, I'm ready to go to bed but I thought I would tell you guys where we ended the day at. Some of you asked in my last video and I didn't mention it, so I'm gonna tell you now. I track my food and my fitness pal. I do have the premium because I like to have the breakdown, um, but you don't have to have that. That's just my personal preference. We ended the day at 1,776 calories and 175 grams of protein, which means that I hit both of my targets. My targets are typically 150 to 175 grams of protein and staying around 1800 calories. I did both of those things. So that is where we are ending this what I eat in a day.